So Matt, you've played uh, for a while on tour. I did. And you've had, I'm assuming you've had some pressure up and downs over the course of your career. Absolutely. All right, so let's make today's video using your expertise and other tour players that we've talked to, how to better navigate those nerves, because you can't avoid the nerves, right? No, they're coming out one way or the other. <laughs> so let's talk about how we can navigate some of these up and down situations to better score, get the ball up and down more often. Sounds good to me. Welcome to the legendary Isleworth Golf and Country Club, the place where golf's greats have honed their skills and sharpened their short games on Isleworth's renowned short range. And today, we get to do the same with the help of our good friend and Isleworth Director of Instruction, Matt Borsher. So a big thank you to Isleworth for opening up their fantastic facility to us, and now you. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to throw Matt right into the fire first. We got about a 20, 25 yard over a bunker. Over a bunker. To a tight pin, uh, especially from this view. Out here practicing by yourself, what would you do for this shot? Yeah, if I'm out here just practicing, maybe having some fun, I might try to get up here and hit like a, a one stop, one hop, stop, spinning shot. Okay, so take on some risk with this All one. Right, All right, let's give it a shot here. See if I can make it look like I knew how to do this game at one time. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. That should grab pretty good. That was good. really nice. Okay. Good Maybe shot. not. <laughs> All right, so what's what's the risk in that shot? Uh, the risk is I could bottom out a little early, maybe chunk it in the bunker. I could get too close to the ball, have it kind of go over the green. There's a variety. It might still be going. Could still be going. Okay, that's kind of a skill you want to practice, right? When you're out here working yourself, there's no pressure other than maybe your buddies are giving you a hard time. But other than that, no pressure. Now, if we're playing in a match and it's coming down to the last hole and you're you're tied with Sean and myself, which would be a small miracle in and of itself. And there's a little bit of money on the line, and you have this shot to get up and down and win the bet on the last hole. Are you going to play that any differently? Absolutely. What uh, are you going to do different? I'm going to take away the spin. I'm going to just try to control this ball with trajectory. Okay. I'm going to try to predict contact as best I can. Okay, so you're, you're, you're minimizing now the bad places this ball can go. Absolutely. Okay, let's do one of those. All right. So again, a are, lot, you, are you still confident I'm still, in getting this close? Absolutely okay. still confident, but lie dependent, I'm going to try to take away the risk of getting a little bit fancy with it. Yeah. And I'm just going to throw this nice and high. So the face might be a little bit more open and I'm just trying to visualize the shot I'm going to hit. So nice and soft, nice and high and just kind of brush it up there. And you got right. it closer, Very good shot. And that's kind of a shot that Sean and I would play nine times out of ten for this as well. A hundred percent. You know, the way we teach it in the golf schools, you only have one tomorrow. You know, pick the shot that makes the most sense that you can get up and down the most amount of times, and that's not always the fanciest shot. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, that's what golf's all about. We're not playing pictures. We're playing score. So that's what I would suggest is just try to you know get the one that's going to work more times than not. Okay, that's against me and Sean for the win. Mm. All right, now you're. Last hole, one up at the U.S. Open. Mm. All right, you've got the gallery, or for you guys watching, you're in your club championship, and you've got all the knuckleheads surrounding the green watching the last group come in. So there's going to be some nerves. There's going to be some tension and weight in the hands. Oof. How are you then now going to play this? Well, when, when like it's all on the line. Well, for you know, for U.S. Senior Open because I'm almost there. But uh, <laughs> I, again, I'm <laughs> I'll probably be as nervous as anybody, right? I'm trying to get this ball as close as I can. So again, lie dependent. I'm going to try to stop it with trajectory. Okay. I will not try to spin the golf ball, especially if the greens are firm and fast. And I'll just try to kind of again picture the ball taking off launch wise where I think it can stop near the hole. Okay. Are you going to adjust your aim line any yeah are you going to maybe not bite off as much of the bunker great point so yeah if you're trying to kind of just get it up and down i'm going to take away some of that risk i'm going to probably aim about three steps left of the target and hope it kind of kicks towards okay it. let's let's get up and down for the senior u.s open that's right <laughs> can't wait so again nice soft one just kind of Try to throw it up there and hope it gets a bounce. Oh, it did. Buddy, you make it look easy. Did it go in? Get in. Get in. Come on. Oh, that is, I won the tournament. <laughs> I won the US. What are you going to do? You are now on ESPN <laughs> everywhere. So we got a gallery here. We anyways. have a gallery of one. <laughs> my, my best fan over there. All right, so you See took you the, 
the Lacey in the horn. He took the least high risk option and wind up holding it. It goes to show you that playing what you're given and then stacking the odds in your favor can be the difference between being relaxed enough to hit that shot or being nervous. If I don't pull this off, maybe it's gonna go in the bunker, go over the green. Like there's all of that to weigh when you're standing over a shot. Real quick, if you could use more consistency in your golf game, and that's one of the most asked questions golfers have when they come see us, we've got the video just for you. Click on the first link in the pinned comment or description below. We're gonna send you our drill to help you shore up your consistency, be more consistent for your next round of golf. Just click on that link, tell us where to send it, now let's get you back to the video. Yeah, half of my lessons with my better players are all about this, trying to kind of mitigate the risk, trying to make the lowest score you can without bringing in these high numbers. It's gonna be hard to replicate what you did on the last shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All that. right, <laughs> the yeah. confidence should be high. It is. All right, so we've got ourselves an extremely short-sighted shot. Mm. Now we're here at just beautiful Isleworth, known for fast greens where a lot of tour players practice for the majors. Very short-sighted, very fast green, firm green. How are you gonna navigate this, or how would you practice this if you're out here just messing around by yourself? So if I'm out here messing around by myself, just having some fun, I might try to open the face up and throw this thing on the green and see if I can get it to catch. Okay, let's try that. All right. I just hope I don't embarrass myself here, but we'll give it a shot. Well, you got you got credit in the bank. Yeah, yeah, you're All good. Right, you're let's good. see what we got. This is very, very, High risk, but we'll give it a chance. Pulls off okay. Oh, pretty shot. Not All right. bad. Great pretty shot. solid. Now, would you play that same shot against me and Sean? Uh, can I say hell no, or is that? Is that <laughs> yeah, you can you definitely can, say hell yeah, no. You can say that. <laughs> All right. Would you? Well, now, why would that be? Would just? I'm not going to do that every time. That might come so, back to my feet. Ten balls. How many times are you hitting it that good? Maybe twice. But yeah, two out of ten. Two out of ten. So it's a it's a fun shot to try. Sure. But you're not going to bank your wallet on it. No way. Okay. No what way. are you going to play against us? This is going to be the old back foot, bounce it up the uh, the fairway cut onto the green, and hopefully okay. I have a close putt. Back foot. Okay. Yep. I'm just checking grain. There's a little bit of grain there. Yeah. So I mean, even if it's even if it's a good lie, if there's any pressure on this shot at all. It's yeah. coming out of the back foot. It's coming so you're, in low. So you're you're money balling this for contact over close. Correct. I okay. want I want a putt at all costs. Okay. Yep. Let's give it a shot here. Oh. Matt's pretty good at golf. Okay. We'll take that. <laughs> all right. Now, for the, you've already won one senior open. Yep. Okay. I'm feeling good. But you hold it out for the senior <laughs> open win. This is to defend that title. You've got this shot on the last hole. Playing that any differently? No. Same shot. Okay. I might even putt it if I could, but let's say I couldn't. But yeah, let's say you, you your caddy stepped on your putter. Right. Last hole. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. So what, what club are you hitting this with? So I, I hit this one with my 58, okay. um, that shot I just hit. But you know, I could hit any number of clubs in the mm -hmm. bag that shot. I could go down to an eight iron, just kind of putt chip it up there right. a little bit. But it's going to give me the best chance to have some kind of putt for whatever you're trying to win. Okay, so let's play it now to defend that senior USO. Okay. Matt, would you try to make sure that you at least got it maybe beyond the pin a little bit here, just that's in a good case? Point. That's a great point. Because that's the only thing I could see if that little cute one there would come back to you. <laughs> so maybe you would play it a little different. Sean's the evil voice in my head, but yeah. So We've hit enough bad <laughs> shots to know. <laughs> yeah. So. I, I, my tendency under pressure when I used to play was to do that, try to get too cute. But yes, to yep. Sean's point, my caddy might make me a, a nice, uh, colorful reminder to get it on the green. <laughs> so let's see what we do. There you go. A little more heat. A little more heat. Okay, make sure you green, putt. Two putts for it's the win. It's safe. No one's going to give you a standing ovation for that shot. But like you said, the goal here is the putt. Goal is to putt. You want to have a putt for the win, victory, whatever. Okay. Now. We'll do a bonus ball here. Okay. What would you do if you had to get this up and down? Would you do anything different? If I absolutely you had, had to. Yeah. Like okay. you got to get it to where you can make the putt. I would probably obviously walk up, take a look at the shot. Yeah. But then I'm really focusing in on where I want the first bounce to land. Okay. How, do you pick, how do you pick that? 
So I'm gonna pick it based off of the flight I see in my mind of this ball hitting the club face and taking off. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of taking out any kind of trajectory to this. I'm trying to get it low, bounce, and you know, catch maybe once on that first bounce. You looking okay. for any flat spots up there or anything? Or just kind of like, I'm going into the hill and I kind of want to predict where this is gonna go on the yeah, first bounce. That's a great point. I, I'm probably looking for something I can bounce the ball yeah. off of, right? Mm -hmm. Like a slope or a, a small kind of rise or something, something to kill it. Yep. Okay. So you're still coming in with some with a lower trajectory. Lower and hot. And you're looking for that magic spot to Absolutely. land it Absolutely. Okay. It's all about contact. I want contact to Still be not great. trying to do the the super lob to get it in there? I don't know how to even do that anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking that out of the bag. I'm going to go back foot. I'm going to just trap it down. And I'm, I'm going to try to really zone in on that one spot to give myself the best chance. Oh, what a great shot. I got a chance, boys. All right, I think you just got it up and down. Pretty good. <laughs> we can make that putt. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> this would be more like uh, we went for a par five and two, mm -hmm. didn't quite reach it, but we're in a good spot. Plenty of green to work with, but we do have a shelf there to deal with. Mm. Yeah, this is a great one here. Okay, so messing around by yourself out here, great practice facility to try this. What are you doing? Oh, I, I love practicing the shot. So our 13th hole here at Isleworth uh, has this exact kind of slope, maybe even worse. So if I'm by myself and I want to have some fun, I'm going to take my 58 and kind of similar to that short shot, I'm going to pick a spot maybe in the middle of that slope and try okay. to drive it in there and spin it. Okay. 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 All right, go All right, ahead. Man, let's see it. You guys are laughing. You don't think I can do this? All right. That's do a not challenge. doubt your abilities. Here sir. we go. We're here to learn. Let's go. Oh, that was real nice. Yeah. Okay, so you one hopped it just short, one hopped on, and wow. it's two feet, and good. we're laughing. Yeah. Okay. Good, good shot, Matt. Thanks. All right. Now, again, back to the same scenario. Yep. Par five. Mm. Sean and I have managed to get on in two because we're playing best ball and we get a sprinkler head. Yeah, we're right. scrambling. You need to tie us on this hole. <laughs> you playing this any differently? 100%, so that 58, she gets tossed out. Okay, why okay. is that? Uh, that's gonna make it even harder to protect contact because you saw the, the interaction with the turf I yeah. had right there. Yeah. A little too more too aggressive. Playing with us is, is nerve wracking. <laughs> playing with anybody's <laughs> nerve wracking. You, members here at Isleworth, anybody. Yeah. Okay. What so what what club did you select there then? So I went down to my 54. Okay. So Is that because of the sole or the it, leading edge? 100%. Okay. So this one's going to have just a few more degrees of bounce. The leading edge is going to be a little bit different with how it interacts with that turf right there. Okay. Yep. I can see that. All right. Let's uh, let's hit one now to beat uh, or actually I should have give us more credit to tie me and Sean on this <laughs> hole. <laughs> All right. So 54. <laughs> yeah. We're not we're not trying to jam this into the slope. I'm probably going to land this maybe a little bit short of that slope and just let it okay. glide up the hill. Let it, let it run. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. A little heavy. Should have enough to get up the hill. I'm human. What okay. can I say? Yeah. I mean, but that's what this there. lie will produce. 100%. Sometimes. Like you're not going to hit 10 of these and catch every single one of them clean. Nope. Nobody's perfect. Okay. Ball stayed up. You're still putting. You got a chance. Yep. Slim chance, but you got a chance. <laughs> All right, now let's go back to our senior open. We've mm. got two in a row. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's ever won three in a row. <laughs> Last hole is a par five. We need to get this up and down for the win. What are okay. we doing? Anything different? No, I just would really focus in again. I'd, I'd probably survey what I have, yeah. try to find a spot halfway there, and then really, really focus on that spot. So you'll be more meticulous about walking up there yeah finding where the slope's at how much you want to land in front of it and how much it needs to run out because to a certain extent i think a lot of the short game has to do with how much you focus your brain on that one spot i think harvey pennick and ben hogan you know mm -hmm. they've had a lot to good to say about really really kind of picking a small small spot and just focusing hard on it okay all right let's do that okay let's lock in so Try to get a feel for what we're doing. Still, I see, still doing the same club. Same club, 54 degree. I might drop down to a 50, but you know anything that's above me, I like to keep a little bit of loft on okay. it. But I'm really going to focus hard on where I want this ball to land, and that's really all I'm going to think about. So everything's kind of set in my head. You know, try to feel it out a little bit, and then see what we got. That was better. 
Good contact. Oh, well, you got a, got a funny little bounce. That was a weird bounce, yeah. But I think trajectory was pretty good. Yep. Your landing spot was good. You just didn't get the bounce. Right. That's golf, unfortunately. That happens to everybody. <laughs> so we've had one tap in, a hole out, and now we got to do a little work. Yeah. But that's reality. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen in golf. It's not all going to be roses. If you can do something eight out of ten times, that might be a good shot to pull off when you're nervous or you're under the gun. No question about it. When I do come out and practice my short game, I do not bring an entire uh, shag bag with me. I take five golf balls. I do not want to hit more than five because I want to move around. I think I got that from David Toms uh, or somebody, if I'm He's recalling that correct. Yeah, that's pretty much what he does. I mean, these, these players leave clues. You know, if you watch guys practice, especially when I do have a chance to either play in a tournament or go to a tournament, I'll watch them practice. And very rarely do you see a guy hit more than eight shots from the same spot. They're always moving around, always trying different shots. And that's yeah. a good point about David, too. He would switch clubs, try different shots. He wasn't always trying to hit the exact same shot. He was just taking what the golf course was giving him and trying to hit the highest percentage, basically. Absolutely. So be able to hit these more difficult, high-risk shots, but also know that's not where you're going to score your best from. Play the shots you can perform the most under pressure, and then enjoy taking money. Yeah. Especially if you're Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah.